Shout out to everybody on the PandasFlame.com. You already see. Shout out to Flavor Flame. A bit of style, a little bit, you know. I didn't mean to do that. But Panda's friend. Hip Hop Panda. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on in the hip hop world. We got Meek Mill versus Drake and Freaky going at Meek. I think they should just chill, do a record together. You know, Meek got a dope record called Tri- The Trillers. I like that record. Uh, 50 Cent, I would like to see 50 on the record with Meek instead of going at Meek. You know, enough for the drama. There's enough, uh, you know, uh, paper to be spread it amongst everybody. Got a lot of great artists out there. Maybe Drake do a hook and Meek on the verse, 50 on the hook, on the bridge, whatever. We need to do a collaboration with it. Get it popping. Maybe like DJ Khaled producer. Right now we're in a situation where the earth is not being protected. You know, there's a lot of things going on with the environment and I think it's time for us to take care of our environment, take care of the earth for the future, for the kids. You know, they're taking all the resources, taking all the oil, you know, polluting the air. And what are we gonna do when the kids leave? Because we ain't gonna have nothing for them. So I think it's very important to take into consideration the future and not take into consideration our pockets, the investments, how big our account is getting. Take care of the earth, take care of the grass, take care of the air, take care of the water. You already know what it is for the future of the kids, man. Green Panda, let's go. Shout out to everybody out there, Metal World Peace in the building, metalworldpeace.com. You know, right now, people don't have no balance, they don't have a yin and a yang. That's why I decided to do this shirt. You're doing too much of one thing and not enough for the other. Especially in the hoods. You know, we, some people gangbanging. Some people got kids not taking care of the children. You know, some people treat women with disrespect. Some people don't take time off for themselves. Too much time for your friends. Not focus on the books. Not focus on your craft. So what I like to do is meditate. Which I wasn't taught that in the hood. We ain't never been taught to meditate and do things different. But now you get older, your mind evolves. And you do things different. Ding Yang Panda, you already know what it is. Yeah, so you know, we over here in LA, Los Angeles, and people always ask me why I bleed purple, you know, why I ripped the Lakers so hard, and I'm from New York City. The reason is one, I got a championship. Two, Kobe's my man. I idolize him because he played just like Michael Jordan. Phil Jackson coached the Bulls, that was my favorite team. Dennis Rodman was my favorite player. And I figured, you know, I kind of resembled Dennis Rodman a little bit in many different ways. And Lamar Odom reminded me of Tony Kukoc and Scottie Pippen at the same time. So when I came to LA, it was a perfect match along uh, amongst all my other teammates. Didn't look Wall and Jordan Farmer, Adam Morrison, um, DJ Bingo, Josh Powell, and all the click, the whole click. So in, when you uh, get supported by a whole city, you have no choice but to love that city. LA embraced me. They embraced my character, being so colorful, being from the hood, from the streets. They embraced my uh, instabilities, uh, and they, they made me become more stable. So that's why, you know, I bleed purple. You already know, Los Angeles. I seen the streets cry black. So a lot of people ask why I changed my name, and I'm gonna wait. I got a book coming out. Uh, I think maybe in about 12 months. I got a documentary I'm working on. So I don't want to give away all the goods. So I was named one of my tests in 1979 when I was born. My father was a senior. I got a son. He the third. And I changed my name mainly because I evolved as a person. Had a lot of things that I've been through in the league, back home in Queensbridge, New York City and all the other states that I played in and where I've been. And to evolve, you gotta change, you gotta see the future. I don't like to look back, I like to look forward. Metal World Peace looks forward, and you can see the panda, patience, balance, friendship, that's what depends for me. I can still be hard, I can still be from the streets, but why not, why can't I be a friend or a good person or a little bit more calm, or a little bit more into my mind? You already know, Metal World Peace, still from the streets, still repping her, still represent you from every ghetto, wherever ghetto you from, that's where I'm from. Metal World, you already know what it is.
So I was born in uh, 1979, Ron Artell Center. I started playing basketball at the age of eight. My dad always told me to play hard. He would take me on the court, throw me on the floor. I ain't gonna put the ball to my legs. But I remember being on the court with a bunch of street ballers, playing these projects, and everybody tries to get stops, stops. That means defensive stops, and nobody scores. And that's why I'm always say defense since 1979. I had uh, one defensive player of the year trophy. I had about five of uh, all defensive teams. And one year I didn't get defensive player of the year. It was a year before I got it. I got a lot of flagrant fouls, led the league in techs. Then I got defensive player of the year. And the next year I got suspended. Uh, and then the year after that, I got traded. I would have had about three, four defensive player of the years. But you know what? I'm still a big fan of defense. A big fan of um, guys like Lindsey Hunter, um, Dennis Rodman, Ben Wallace. Me and Ben Wallace had a, you know, we had our troubles in the past on the court. Uh, he's very competitive. The fourth defensive player of the years. Detroit uh, Pistons, they retired his jersey. But I respect him as a defender. Um, I'm probably one of the best wing defenders. One of my favorites right now is Kawhi Leonard. He reminds me a lot of myself because he wants it. And there's a lot of other great defenders out there. Draymond Green, uh, you know, Clay. Uh, even Stephen Curry's a great defender. Obviously in his prime, Kobe Bryant was a great defender. Michael Jordan was my best and favorite all-time perimeter defender. Guys like Gary Payton, we respect those guys. And uh, I, I wasn't a big, so I'm not really into the shot blocking because that wasn't my thing. But you got to give respect to Hakeem Olajuwon, Theo Radliff, the Kimber Mutombo, and guys like that. You know, right now in the league, I don't see nobody like Lindsey Hunter, um, nobody like, uh, you know, lockdown point guard defenders. Um, Beverly from Houston is pretty good. But I'm looking forward to seeing more and more, you know, real, real defenders. It's MetaWorldPeace.com, defense since 1979. Best wing perimeter defender ever. This is Mo Cole from Luco Photo, at Luco Photo on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm the photographer here for the Panthers Run. I shoot a Metal World Peace today. We went out there and shot this line. Check it out at www.thepanthersfriend.com. Yeah. Alright, shout out to my big brother, Metal World Peace. Much love as always. Been riding with me and I'm rocking with him. Panthers Run. Photo shoot. Run. Taper project. Stay Taper Jail on Instagram. Be back. MetalWorldPeace.com. Metal World in the building. I want y'all to go check out my album. It's coming out very, very soon. My last album was 2007. And I didn't have a chance to really be official with the album because I was playing. I wasn't as developed as an artist. We had, uh, I wrote the whole album, produced some of the records. And in order to have a successful album, you gotta have a team. A team of writers, a team of producers, you know, a team of different ends. This album, I've done that. My career is almost over. I got about 10 to 11 songs on the album. I'm very excited about it. Coming out around March, we have the video of the champion. You know, champion, we did a bunch of records. Thanks for everybody who supported champion. Um, we did about 150,000 records on iTunes. That's good for me. We didn't promote it. No video. So we're going to do the video of the champion. We're going to do the video of the point of no return with Tech Nine. Uh, a couple more videos. And uh, the album's coming soon for all my fans who wanted it. It's coming. Stay tuned. MetalWorldPeace.com. Holla. We live. MetalWorldPeace.com. Here with Taper J. Yes, sir. You got music coming out? Yeah, I got a few, few projects coming out. Caught my shit low key, got bangers on it. The next one. I remember the first time you told me that you was uh, rapping. I heard some records, mm -hmm. and I didn't expect that your first record was a banger. I every that. record after that was a banger. I appreciate that. So uh, what's you got more works in the works? So I got my, my EP in the works, uh, the Tech Project Volume Two. Uh, my shit low key, got bangers on it. Uh, the EP intro just did like 12,000 um, plays on YouTube, so that's oh, doing pretty well. On YouTube channel, my Taper, Taper J, Stay Taper J on Instagram, Stay Taper J on, on YouTube. But yeah, we working, man. We just trying to keep, yeah. keep it popping. And you rapping St. Louis? Yeah, I'm from Ferguson. Yeah. Ferguson, St. Louis. So yeah, um, I know the grind out there is definitely real right now. Yeah, the grind I'm looking forward to hearing some joints. So what, what's in the, the future plans? You know what I mean? Uh, well, our performances, more performances, more more music. Just keep recording. Yeah. And, and honestly, I'm trying to get with a team. So if anybody knows anything about St. Louis that think we can blend, we can mesh, let's make some music. Yeah. It's popping right now. You know, so you got to get on my album too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna, yeah. It's, it's, the verse is simple. That's easy. That's yeah. easy. This is like an easy connection. This dude been rocking with me since I got here. So yes, sir. Yeah. I, I love it. And I appreciate everything, you know what I'm saying? Gratitude. Yes, sir. Check out Table State Table J album yes, on sir. Instagram. The Table Project. Middle World Peace 37 Instagram. Mm -hmm. Holla at us. MiddleWorldPeace.com. Peace. Last words was the most real. Red breath. I heard the streets cry blood.
condition rare. Now her mama need a hug.